in the warehouse of the uh, Bugbrook Historical Microcomputer Collection, and um, you're going to drive away with a PDP-8. A straight eight. Yeah, what do you what do you think about that? What's your reaction? I am thrilled. I've been looking for a PDP-8 for probably close to 10 years. Never successfully found one until now. And I certainly didn't expect to get a straight eight. I expected a PDP-80 or something like that. But uh, So when this came available, I was thrilled to get it. It's going to be quite a restoration project. It'll probably take me years to do it. But uh, I'm thrilled to have it. And uh, it's going to a really good home. Walk up here a little closer to the front, and let's take a look at the front. I want you to close because your voice is better. I don't have a remote mic on here. But um, you were mentioning an original PDP-8, and it it is. Right there, it's the PDP-8. Yep. No, no letter following that. Yep. Of course, this is the cabinet model. They made a desktop model, too, but the front panels were pretty much the same. So your goal is to uh, get this in working order at some point? Ultimately to restore it. Yeah, there's a fellow that lives uh, probably 30 miles from where I do that has uh, several PDP-8s, and he just restored a straight 8 recently. Great. So uh, he's got quite a bit of information online about how to do it and what he went through to do it. But this one's fairly complete, so I'm hoping that the restoration project is pretty straightforward. And tell me just uh, briefly a little bit about the collection you do have. Uh, I've been collecting... Uh, uh, mostly 8-bit machines for probably 15 years, a little bit longer. Um, I have an Altair, a Sol, um, multiple uh, Apple machines, Apple One, Apple GS, or I'm sorry, not Apple One, Apple Two, Apple GS. Um, probably seven or eight uh, TRS-80 computers. I have uh, quite a few Atari. Mm -hmm. um, so probably all totaled, I think I have about 70 machines. In so you collection. have any mini computers, or is this your first this mini? This is the first mini computer, yeah. My first mini computer. I have an, a, a, a list machine, too. One of the Mac Ivory uh, list machines was built into a Macintosh. and uh, That's a pretty unique machine. Well, this is a neat uh, mini to start with. I'll go over here and get just a little bit of close-up of some of this. It's all wire-wrapped and uh, transistor logic. This is pre-integrated circuit. If there's any integrated circuits in there, they're very simple. I don't even think there's any gate logic in there. I think it's all transistor logic. And uh, actually a beautiful machine in terms of um, early PDPs. This was the first economy machine, really. That's right. Yeah. yeah. And I think they sold for around 50, 60,000 or something like that. Yeah. Uh, kind of pretty well equipped, and that was probably the first machines under $100,000, computing machines. I forget what the, does. they considered this the first, it was either the first portable or first personal computer because it was actually mobile. You could yeah. take it somewhere with you if you had to. Well, we'll be delighted to see it go to your collection and get into operation. I think that'll be a wonderful thing. I like to see all these machines uh, in collections where people appreciate them and and put them to work. Well, I'm thrilled to have it. I can't thank you enough for the opportunity to do this. It's a Great. very nice machine. Well, we're delighted to. Well, thank you very much. Let me get a couple of still pictures. Well, here we are. We, we've packed the uh, PDP-8 in Wynn's Outback, and believe it or not, laying the seats down and wiggling it around, the whole thing went in. He's able to close the hatch on it. We had a couple of fellows here helping us, uh, Nate and Jason helping us, but uh, Wynn's ready to Head back Ready to Lee's four hour trip. Yeah. yeah. This is proof you can fit an entire PDP 8 cabinet model in the back of an Outback comfortably. Yeah. So, about how long? About four and a half hour trip? Yeah, probably be about four and a half going back. I'll be going a little bit slower. Yeah. yeah. Well, I hope you can get it out of the car easily and uh, so forth, but I'm delighted to see it went in where you can actually close the hatch. So, go ahead and close the hatch on that thing and we'll say goodbye to our PDP 8. Okay. Again. Well, it's been wonderful having it here, but we're delighted to see it go off into your collection, Warren. Thank you so much.